So a network is essentially a cloud service that enables game-changing multi-party or multi-company applications. So there's several factors that have given rise to the need for a network. The first is a major trend, which has been going on for actually many years. It's basically the end of vertical integration and the rise of specialization. That means that a huge competitive advantage is accrued to companies that can marshal their partners most effectively. The second major trend is scale. We're no longer talking about dealing with you know, 5, 10, 15 partners, but often dealing with hundreds, even thousands, or even tens of thousands of partners. So there are several things that a true network platform must provide. Uh, I'm going to go through these one by one. Uh, the first is multi-company transactions and master data. And the idea here is to provide a single version of truth. Instead of replicating data between, say, ERP systems, you have a single version of truth mediated by a permissions model. Um, the second major capability would be the capability to upgrade multi-party workflows while maintaining backward compatibility. If you imagine a network with uh, tens of thousands of trading partners connected to it, and if every time an upgrade requires tens of thousands of companies to uh, have to redo their integration, that would be a huge problem. Now, a very critical requirement for any network, and in some ways it's one of the most critical, is that companies should only have to onboard once uh, and then conduct business with anybody. Now, obviously, once they onboard, they can't just you know do anything with anybody. They still have to. They're still governed by permissions, agreements, contracts, etc. But in general, from an integration standpoint, onboarding that should be done only once. Um, another very critical capability is support for near real-time global visibility. And what this means is that a company should be able to see the entire network state in near real time, but obviously subject to the permissions that they have. So once we have this global visibility, uh, the next critical capability that any network needs to provide are intelligent agents that run on top of the near real-time global backbone to provide intelligent sense and respond. This can dramatically increase responsiveness, automation, and even intelligence of the network. And agents can employ machine learning to constantly improve their function. And I would say there's, there's several more, but the last one I'll touch on right now is uh, a modular architecture that allows individual modules or applications to be built by different parties, including uh, the parties that are participating in the network, uh, ISVs, etc., and which can be assembled into a network solution by a network operator. So in summary, uh, networks are transforming the way business is done by allowing companies to marshal their partners using novel, sophisticated workflows for a sustainable competitive advantage.